A horse, of course. Horse part. Hi, donkey wonkies. Look at that log of pound. It's cute. Back of the bad psychic. <laughs> the twins. The donkey twins. Did you have a golden dog, or did your brother want a big glo golden dog? I had lots of uh, dogs. A big golden my, dog. One, one of my dogs, well, I don't know, I don't know which, which one it was, because I've had several. But anyway, okay. um, the thing is, is, is I've had, I've had, I've had a retrievers, okay. which Lucky was not gold. Okay. Now Lucky, he was on his way to fighting it to go fight the bull. Mm -hmm. And he was part pebble. I don't know what to do about those people behind well, us. We're... What is your astrology this sign? Gemini. Thank you ever so kindly. You're a Gemini, Moon and Capricorn. That means you grew up fast and you would you would start work really early when you're young, right? And like you had to be your own your mom's dad or something. <laughs> start working at eight or nine years old. Wow. See, who's right? <laughs> and do you have other brothers and sisters? That are like different moms and dads, kind of, or a big neighborhood they lived in. Always lived in a small town. That's not, okay, yeah, a suppressed town, or whatever. That's what I was about at first. Is your mom blonde? Yes. She is, and uh, she has like blue eyes, and she still looks really young and stuff. Yes. She and um, it's a suppressed town. That's what I got the very beginning. But also, there was just a bunch of neighbors or a bunch of kids around. Or maybe I'm catching something from this guy. Because <laughs> he's a Virgo. You're a Virgo. I might be able to tell your story without you telling me. Because I can do things on people who are asleep. And I tell somebody who knows them. And I can get that information that way. Isn't that cool? I don't know. I could probably pick up on you. But I'd rather get on you because I get your mom, I guess. And then, um... Uh, she didn't have much... She doesn't have much... Well, maybe... Not, I don't know if she had much furniture, but I, I now don't know. I think I'm changing. She didn't have much furniture? Not really. Not really? Because I see her sitting on like a chair like that or whatever. It's not a recliner like this. Is that true? It's true. True. I'm right. I'm getting it. And um, she looks like a girl named Whitney. Uh, <laughs> but I'm just saying that to myself. Um, okay. Y'all kind of look alike too, you and your mom. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Um, uh, Cliff. I don't know. Um, did your dad have, is he like heavyweight and stuff? Yeah. He's heavyweight and he's bigger and he has a big mu mustache and a uh, beard kind of. And oh, yeah. he's got darker hair. See, you got the light hair. You got the reddish blonde, shrubby blonde hair. And, and Ashley. And, but he's got the dark hair. He's got, and he's got uh, like a big gray streak in his hair, right? Stark. Starting just like a gray streak in the front and it's like fixed back, you know, but it's thick hair. He has thick hair? Yeah. Yeah, he's thick hair. Thick hair line is what I'm saying. Just a little streak of white on the side. On the side, you know? He's starting to get gray hair. Like right here on the side instead of like the middle? Yeah. I'm right. Confirm he is. Okay, well, let's see. Um, he draws off. It's something about... Hopefully... Uh, this okay, here's my wife's best believe. I'm going to get this on camera. Okay. Back to you. Did he drive off a cliff? Or is his name Cliff or something? No. Okay, well, fuck it. Something about Clifford or Cliff. Tim, Cliff, like, like, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> but, uh, he, he, he had his own garage. Is that right? And he wore glasses and stuff. To, like, like, he had to wear glasses to do this sparky thing. Like, you make things spark like a, you know, what? Oh, you melt. Well, then. And you have glasses when you're doing that? I have a face shield. Face shield? Okay. Well, I haven't got to there yet. I think, well, maybe I got that. I don't know. They did have the light glasses for cutting. Yeah, so he never did that either. He never, he didn't do the welding. He had nothing to do that. I'm just yeah. seeing it like, as you know, sparking on, on like, just like welding, whatever. Like, I yeah, guess. I've seen him in the future. Oh my god, probably. Because it's <laughs> his dad, you know, it looks kind of like his dad, but you look more like your mother. <laughs> and he got version, right, to me. Don't you so? Yeah. Um, but, you know, 
your Saturn could tell you about your father, and if it's in your first house, you kind of look like him, but if your moon is in your first house, you look like your mother. And if you don't have that, you still do anyways. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? But anyways, um, and that's astrology, and I love astrology. Like, what the fuck? They just took the phone away, and I can't do it over a cigarette. I hate people. I hate the choices that people make <laughs> with cigarettes. It's awful. Especially for me. I don't have a good mood system. Okay, anyways, back to you. Um, did your uncle used to live with your mom, too? Shit, I don't know why I'm doing that, so I'm gone. I'm done. <laughs> um, I'm wrong. It wasn't Rick's boss. Was it? Okay, well, what about a guy named Rick or something? Uncle Rick? Hmm. Rick was my dad's name. Really? <laughs> was he young looking? Because I'm saying this guy looks young like you. Look, you look young like you. But his name's, he doesn't have a mustache and stuff. I mean, I don't know. My dad's dead clean shaven. Clean shaven? And he's like, looks like he wears like stuff like that. You know, white, just wear the plain white shirt. And uh, he has a really cute smile. And he's tan. And he has like Justin Beagle's hair, but it's blonde. <laughs> like Zach Morris from Save with the Bell. Is that right? <laughs> Is that your uncle? So, Uncle Rick? Is that his name? <laughs> uncle Rick? I don't know, I guess. Hi. That's uncle him? Jeff, my dad is Rick and... Well, and no. two stuck side what? by side. Wait. But they didn't look like, like that? For whatever I just described? I found out not too long ago that they only have blood brothers. Okay. What they look like? <laughs> what am I right about? Nothing? <laughs> sort of something? He does remind me a lot of my dad. Oh, he does? Well, that's just the whole three thing that just came together as one, to be in layers. And so did you and your dad, you know, like him here, but you, you welding all at the same time. <laughs> all in one person, you know what I mean? That's why y'all bring this. Okay, well, don't tell me, I'll tell you, because <laughs> I can get there one at a time. And plus, I don't know where I am. Um, but does that kid hang out in a two-story place? Like house with lots of kids? That kid, wherever he goes? I don't know. They're My outside. dad remarried. He ended up with four grandkids. From yeah. Life. Oh, okay. Like two girls, and she, one of well, well, I'm seeing two girls right now, and then a kid, and then a kid back here. I'm about to get. But she has blonde hair. So I'm so confused. And she's getting kind of tall for her age. Or is that somebody in your life? Is that your daughter? Uh, uh, I, mean, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, your uh, sister. Uh, you have a sister, or uh, I thought. I thought you had like two, two, a brother and a sister. I don't know, but I'm seeing a, just some chick that kind of looks like him, but skinny and tall, and has blonde hair. And she, her bangs are like up to here, and then her hair, the rest of the hair is down to here. Am I seeing anything, or am I losing it? His mother wants you to grow young. That's what she looks like. Her hair is like it's cut. You know, like the bangs are kind of long, and the rest of the hair is like longer. Yeah, I saw right about that. Your mom. And she looks like a teenager. That's what she looks like. I mean, I'm not mistaken for a child. But she's not tall. Yeah. She's real skinny, but she's real tiny. Yeah, she's real tiny. And she's like a kid. I <laughs> 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 guess in my visions. And she had, I don't really know. I'm getting lost. And she has a son that looked like you. Because he looked like kind of that kid, too. You know what I mean? One thing, so maybe it's her. And when he's a little one. Some other brother. You have a, you have a brother? Have a. And a half white brother. Half white brother. So he's like half white, but he has like white skin, right? Yeah. And he and he has like and he has brown hair and his blue eyes, like deep blue. If I remember right, it's been since ten Well, I'm years. right. Okay. <laughs> since I've seen him. And yeah, he's like far away, foreign and stuff. But he always was kind of like that. You only got to hang out for. A while, and then there was like a, like a nursery next door, daycare or something, and they would feed everybody burritos or something. Is there anything with that? <laughs> we the first She's time. You, talking about the old one of the times you, one of the times that you met your brother and got to hang out with him was when y'all were next door to a daycare or something that was feeding people burritos. Or something. Last time I seen him was at a football game, sixteen years. Ago. Oh, well, maybe that could be the. Good, Something like that, maybe, maybe not, because I don't see no football stuff yet. Oh my gosh, okay, toodles. <laughs> what? I was right that he was eating markers. 
Because he eats everything. He eats markers. He's good. I record when I say that. Do you know a guy named Garrett? Yep. And I was getting that and I stopped recording and... Okay, I'll get back to it. Chandra, whatever they do, to, she's up right, there see. being what she's supposed to do. Okay. Living better than she's ever lived before. Did I even cycle pick up anything for me when I was on the phone with you? Like, did I say, like, you had kids, did you have kids with them? Or just, you told me that already. Something like that. I don't remember. Well, um, blah, 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 blah. Um, well, do you look at your mom, at least? <laughs> no, because I'm looking at you and I got that in my head, so. Total twin, almost. Oh, right, okay. This is the knows. beard. And her hair is long and the same color, like. No, no it's, it's dark brown, but her hair was as long as yours. Yeah, she just had long hair. And then, um, she had a really, well, y'all both have probably, like, really good hairlines, like, like a stop sign and straight across, and, you know? No, actually, I had the surfer boy hair. But, like, I would do the bow cut and it would fucking grow up. No, I meant the hairline, like, how is it, how it's straight the, and different, and, I mean... Okay, like, straight across, it's no, like a actually, diamond shape, went, like a stop no, sign? to a little bit of a point. Oh, you had the widow's peak. Like I hair. had the widow's peak, but I also had the surfer boy hair. Well, what about her hair color? Was not the widow's peak? It was like straight across? No, hers was. She had bangs and she always feathered her shit. She kept her hair the oh. way she liked it. Okay, I've never seen her with bangs in my visions. I just see a girl that looks like you with well, her hair. Well, that's just it. You know, yeah, so yeah, that right. was early, Vera. Then you know, later. What? Her hair was like yours. No bangs, just no, long. Uh, and she just kept it up to the side or put it up in bowl. All in the back, a back. She would refuse to cut it because. It straight across her hairline up in the front. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, it, so it wasn't it, a little bit round, but it was a little bit of a widow's peak. So, why is it a widow's peak or it had a little bit of a widow's peak? I had a widow's peak. She you did, but she didn't. That's what I said. I, I had, had a straight. Okay. I had a cowlick that went from here all the way front. Lady at the bar at the salon said it was the biggest cowlick she had ever seen in her life. Oh, it sticks up? <laughs> oh, no, sweetheart. If I would have my hair like yours, uh -huh. it would stick up. Dragon Ball Z shit. This would be sticking out this way. Uh -oh. And this part's wrapped around my neck trying to grow that way, too. Oh, no. You know, that's how big my fucking cowlick was. It was huge. Cool. <laughs> uh, so I always did the uh, bow cut. So, okay, I was, I was right about her. Okay, this should wear like just plain white shirts, whatever, and she's some cigarettes or whatever. Did she wear a pinky ring or something or whatever? Or, I don't really know. And then she's like, I don't know. Was she like, like, a long time? I don't know. Maybe when she was skinnier, she was skinnier. I'm here, I'm so you can ask Was she skinnier? No, uh, she'll tell me. That's how you get firm. She tells me it's cheating. So I don't really know. But does she look like this? And she's not um, big or anything like like, I don't know. She's she very skinny, actually, petite, kind of. She's skinny. At the end, she was very petite and skinny, yes. And, um, Wouldn't she, weigh about 110. She's kind of shorter than you, but she looks tall in a way. And I have a weird arm in way, but y'all look the same. Her her teeth, hands. teeth are like vampire teeth, like four Virgos that were rising. Kind of vampire teeth would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. But she looks just like you. And the eyes are. Uh, no, my mother had. One of the most beautiful smiles you would have ever seen in your life. Yeah. She really did. What was her strong sign? Virgo. Oh my god, I love Virgos. Yeah, I said right She she is a Virgo. She like, I'm a Virgo. I'm a Taurus raised by a Virgo and I love a Virgos. Aries. I can read Virgos better than anybody. Um, you know, I love this. Uh, They're like angelic spirits. <laughs> Oh, my mom was, was gentle until you pissed her off. You of course, mistaked her kindness baby. for weakness, and Greatness, you were going to regret it. If they, that's where they should choose to put it. Uh, when she was around, I didn't even have to worry about doing nothing because my mom would be on for our kid. Okay, let's see. Um, try, try. I don't know. Maybe is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't know. Toddy, Toddy. Has nothing to do with your name. Nope. Or, then I'm not getting that. It's, I, I, I'm guessing. It's something. That but does not have me. anything to I do with me. me. She will tell you. Well, but I'm telling you, you don't have to ask her if you're a TJ's mom. I wish she would just tell me if she fucking will. Uh, so I, I have, you have to ask her to ask me. I'm like a genie, right? I can't make you make you wish. No, I don't want you to reach out to her. She can hear you. I'm she's watching okay. them. Just well, like Miss well, well, Lohan. Well, listen, this doesn't mean that she's here. This just means this is never inside you. This is what she looks no, like. No, no. It could be her. She could did be. not look. You think what I said? When I got to see her the last time... Well, tell me, I'll tell you. Wait, didn't yeah. she have to do diabetes checks or whatever? She had diabetes no, needles? She, did. We didn't even know she was diabetic. Okay, so she wasn't... Oh, yeah, that's what killed her. She, she was diabetic? 
She was diabetic, had liver problems. Okay, that's only this is the this is the final decision, you know, so I can make a, I mean, a point you, that I can see her. You got it from the diabetes. That's the main thing that killed. Okay, she had diabetes, but um, um we didn't. Know. She also she was kind of she was very she uh she became anemic and she was like I need to throw up. No, nope. never like that. No, nope. my mother would not throw up for nothing. But she's like she wants to throw up, but she doesn't want to throw up. No, nope. she needs to. She, I mean, she when she to, was drunk, when she used to drink, oh yeah. She needed to throw up. She, but she, she became really religious at the end, would not cut her hair anymore okay. because uh, oh. she believed that God did not want, want women to cut their hair. Was she anemic or not? No. Nope. Wrong. Okay, then I'm not thinking of her. Wrong. Uh, now, anemic was my cousin that died with her. could be anybody. No, my, okay. my cousin was anemic was your, at the well, end. Was your cousin really skinny and she had an ashy hair it was really pretty and she didn't look like any of y'all? No, she, she was from California. But she looked nothing like y'all? No, she, she, was, like, uh, she was my cousin. Bunch. She had like a moon-shaped head, and, yeah, and yeah, her yeah. eyes were more round, not uh, oval and kind of like yours. It was the, more the, around, and they were blue, too. She was kind of tan color and a grayish tint to it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Instead of like this um, beach. So my, my cousin that died from heroin and but, cancer is but, talking and, to you. And, and, okay, and she, well, she, she was going bald too. She oh, was she, bald. I mean, she was on hospice when she died. She was so yeah, skinny. Yeah, but at first she had silvery, uh, actually, brunette hair, right? And then it started uh, yeah. going bald in the front. Well, and, because, and, but she was taller than you? She caught, well, Oh, yeah, she was real tall. She's tall. And she had like a long neck, but she was just like a moonshake face. She's beautiful. And, okay, this is, this is what I'm going to tell you. Tell me, right. And then we'll see what uh, she says and stuff. Um. See, I really didn't she, know her, she, uh, but she did pass away. Uh-huh. We had four die well, at the same you. time in our family, so you okay. could be picking up any of those. Oh, her, a stomach son to a baby son, a baby, and she's holding her kid, that's a kid, I don't know. Does she have a kid like a son? Two kids. One of them with long hair. Probably the youngest of four. Would she act like you're her son? Mother, what? My mother, I would have been oh, the youngest of a four. A blonde hair kid? She had three. Before me, but two miscarriages and one abortion. Oh, okay. so if she, your mom, if you're seeing her older baby, you're seeing my older, younger brothers and sisters. Wouldn't he have blonde hair? Oh, yeah, he's the youngest. I have yeah. blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, you're until blonde. seven years old. Okay, cool. Cool. I will, I'm not gonna tell you the reason why, but and then the other young, kid, so. the other kid, um, um, well, it, the, it looked different, like it probably tall and it had brown hair and, and it looked like uh, his nose was pointing, for, like pointy yes. and then it curled up like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. Like yeah. that, like a, yeah. like it, at the tip, it'd be like you this. Have a little bit of Jewish you know what I mean? and like, it's cool. It goes, like a ski, like, yeah, like, like it's, like it's a, a cute little nose that points up, you know, uh-huh. but the it nostril, it didn't, it didn't like you did a nap, but it, it points up. But it died of like all, and it well, did it live or so did it grow up? Three and one one abortion, and then had me. Oh well, well, so, the parent. What do they look like? Maybe because yeah, my like, mom and me look just them. like I don't know about the other guys Who because knows? that was I was the last one, and she decided to have me. Okay. Um. Well, I got the girl from the cancer, so she should be the one to connect with me. But she's not talking too much. She doesn't talk too much. She doesn't she's very really quiet. Know me that much. Wasn't she really quiet? But it doesn't matter. She knows you. It's like yes. I know her, then it's gonna work. <laughs> yes, she was real she's quiet really because much. she couldn't talk. She's really anymore. quiet. Yeah, and she's really quiet. And uh, she um, that's what I'm picking up. See, and then, so if you tell me with her mind, she can still tell me things without me. She was. And then her mom, the mo- your mom, they would hang out together, and they had a big long dog. That was um, skinny, very skinny as a long dog, and it was like gray. Is that true or not? I don't think deer kind of. No, so maybe it, on both. Yeah, I've had it was family in, members that had like silver it was, dash hounds. And it had ears up, it didn't flop, but it was like short ears, but it was like, well, yeah. they look like elephant ears, but they're like, they, they flop down like this, but they're like this small. They're not long and laying down. They're like, they're like halfway, you know, like medium short, you know what I mean? And they had like this ranger oh, looking nose, like right off the right nose, or a I don't know, it looked like a cartoon almost. Not a, sh- a, a Shih Tzu, not a Shih Tzu Chihuahua, but a Shih Tzu. No, an like expensive sh- breed. Shih Tzus look beautiful, like you and like a like, like, that, like Lady in the Tramp's little black friend, you know, he mm-hmm. that shape of haircut. Okay, well, um, I've had a lot of animals, and mom has too. Mom was always the she got one wrong, better animal than I ever did. She had an owl. An owl? Oh, my mm-hmm. mother had an owl as a pet. Wow, that was something I picked up on and I have not picked up on none of that. The guy caught it, bring it to her house when I was about four years old. I'm my mother said, oh yes, I want him. He goes, well, where do you want me to do this? She goes, let him the fuck go. 
He went on that owl. That owl found his perch and knew that was his home. Wow. Oh. My mom regretted what do you the day feed she that let, mice. Oh, we well, don't feed him nothing. Oh, he okay. gets the mice on his own. You can hear him get them at night. Good. Anybody smart enough to him? Owl went off. What? What happened? It would fucking spin its head and go off and threaten you. Uh -huh. Oh, you, 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 you smart off to her. I'm going to get oh, you. Oh wow! Really it was. It would threaten to attack. When they throw their head around like that, they're threatened to attack you. I run my hair back and forth. I run my hair back here. But I've um, come pretty interesting life. I should have been dead at least six times total. Wow. Even a couple here recently. Did you see anything during that? What was your experience with that? Or did it just still remember because of the coma or something? I never went to a coma. I've never broken a bone. That was just questions, not like asking. Um, <laughs> Let's just say, uh, let's just say, I uh, was made extremely tough for a reason by our creator, and I can't remember. You can use that for good. What you're gonna use it? Whatever you were created as, you're gonna use it. For I because she went to live because, because I've been through some rough shit. Uh, in '96, after the, the tornado, I was helping up. Uh, second survey. If you encountered a a spirit that had a box with um, it, that was like with like grass in it, and it's telling you to. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, like it was desperate to give it to you. And then, like, it showed up in your room. Take it, take it, like, pressuring you to take it. I would wrap it in something, don't physically touch it for one. Well, it's not physical, it's a spirit, just energy. So, It'll give it to you. What would you do? What would you tell it? Um, my energy would probably destroy it. Well, okay. If it's so, evil, it's not going to be allowed to touch well, me. Well, it would be connected to demons with a cord. But anyway, it's your choice. This is, then, will, this is a free will decision. This will be what this that's is. just it. If an angel had a ball of light would, and, and it was offering it to you as a guy, and what would you do? What would I you would do? already show it mine. Okay, cool. Because I have that ball of light. And then what happens with that? Mm, oh, that sounds like a good smiles. answer. That sounds like a really good answer. It smiles because, because, because it realizes it's not looking at just a human soul, it's looking at a hybrid soul of an angel and a human. Okay, well, we're not. Okay. Uh, what would you do if a demon says, I can make you powerful? Would you? And if it gave you headaches and that didn't make And I would look at him and say, You can't give me any more power than what I've already got. And I'm already more powerful than you because of my faith in the Creator that He focuses through me to destroy you. Now leave, or my energy will kill you itself. <gasps> because so my. Fun. Even better. My aura. This is like probably the best my aura. My aura is the, uh, the favorite color of God. It is, my a color, it is a crimson purple with a pink glow. I have been told this by a woman that was dragged 50 feet by a car and died five, five times on an operating table. Wow. She could see auras after that. Well, I can see them. <laughs> you know, and she come in and her eyes went oh, huge she and she goes, I've never seen that color before. Maybe I was like, exactly. don't tell me. Oh. I immediately asked her, don't tell me. No, I should. Sure. You're right. And, no, 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 no. I, I said, I'm going to tell you, and I want you to tell me if I'm right, because I had said, oh, no, no, I hear you have like a lavender color to it, but the rest of it's kind of yellow like everybody else's, but I hear it has a lavender pretty color right here on this line, right here. I don't know why. It could be your shirt, because they do kind of colors like yellow is the polar opposite of it. And it's like, it's like, it's like, okay, it's like this small, watch, look, look, it's like this small, you can see it right here. And it's just a little line around it. And the rest is like this yellow because it's right here. But these are usually polarity. This would be orange. The orange of this would be orange right now, but it's not. No, it can't. It's Look, my, it's kind of purple. My, look, see, look, 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 right here. No, I'm talking no, about the no, aura I'm telling the audience, put off. I'm telling the audience, look, right, this is line. It looks kind of purple. Lavender. Up here, you know. And it's kind of purple right here. Look, it's kind of purple right here. It's kind of pinkish, pinkish, pinkish lavender right here. So he's actually telling you, but also there's still yellow to it, and also the white. But she goes. It's just like right here. Most of the time, a person's aura is look, either red. Look into the uh, where blue, the white, white, like we'll try to get the white. Red, blue, up there, or yellow. Yeah, it's got yellow, and then no, no, no. She's talking about the people's usual color of their aura. They're usually blue, it's green, green, yellow. No, no, green's hard to find. She said. No, it's just blue, green. yellow, and red are the main colors that show up. I said mine is a it crimson, is a, beautiful purple. It's purple, red. A pink, pink, 
pink. Yes. Glow. Well, it does. Oh my god. It's got a pink yes. shimmer. It's got a pink shimmer to it. It's I got said, a pink shimmer like a fucking. I said, fish. thank you for proving that for me because I sat in my room. You can see in your face and over here too. I meditated and I concentrated you hard really enough. really can't see it. To see my energy flow. He's not lying. Like you get out of a hot shower and the steam that rises up your body. At the point when you look down and see the steam. And I. Right I, now, I your energy rises off of your body like that. The aura does. And if you concentrate, you can turn it into a fire. You can make it spike around your hand yeah. as a mace. Like one of those Listen, fishes, blowfishes. I did it like this. I, I stand here and I think of a blender with multiple spinning blades that do not spin the same direction. Don't hurt me with it. <laughs> no, it, it, it's it made to attack. It, it attacks on its own. Well, and it only it attacks evil. This the is dark. why so it's I good with the light. Not actually the dark lesbian too. The dark is not evil. Is, it is it's a creature that can energy. not. No, 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 it's not negative. It's good people, but it's, got it's actually a very good creature. It loves you. Right. It cradles you when you sleep. Uh, uh, the darkness cradles you uh, when you sleep. Can you sleep with the light in your face? Uh, I don't like that. Okay, exactly. Darkness and light are there for you both. Well, Darkness's yeah. problem is it has evil things living inside of it that um, it cannot get rid of. It's begging yeah, for help. Like, Darkness begs well, I for help. I wish I could help them with Jesus. Because light, could you light that's why them? the light goes into the darkness to make it fire, flare up and find the evil Isn't inside. that like, kind of like the um, thing of it? Like it's in hell yeah, and yeah. it's a void of light, but yeah, it's yeah. still dark. It's yeah. void of love, though, right? But it no. still exists. No, it's not void of love. It loves. I don't, the love is it just cradles love. you like you're a baby. You see it. Darkness cradles you. But didn't didn't I explain your aura correctly? Like I was like a pinkish color, yes. so it's like a reddish purple, and it's like shimmering too, a sparkly shimmer. But I was right about it, right? So it's true for me and other people, and I'm not I lying. Mean, and you're not lying. So no, I see. You might have that that watches this that can see yours, like that girl could. I can see when that I have the first time see auras. I heard there's cameras that can take a picture of your aura and yeah, show you the color. Some of them. I would actually love to get a hold of one of them and see my color. And on take film. Take but picture. I will tell you, no matter how bad our color system gets, we will never match the colors that our energy. Oh, look here it is, right here too. I can see it. It's it right here. They I'm, are so I'm getting much more vibrant it. and bright. It's all. It's all like a funnel cake right here. Oh, look, my fingers get into it. Like it's turning purple right here. Let's see if I can do it again. Look. Oh, it's kind of more redder right here now. On the shoulder and this side. I'm sure to it. Look at it. Look, it's kind of reddish pink right here. Look at that. Look. The whole thing right there. Look at the look at the outline of his shoulders. Look at the outline of his shoulders. It's actually turning lavenderish. Look. Lavenderish red. I mean, look at it. Really? Look at it. Look, look, look. Did you see that? Right there was uh, the reflection. Most blue shirts come off as orange. This is coming off as a burgundy-ish, purple-ish, lavender-ish. You know what I mean? Cool, huh? I mean, you say you're signing the video. Oh, look at his hands! What the hell? Did you see that flicker of the hands? If we played it back, it looks like you could see the flickering of it. It looked like a techno colors, uh, but it was the purple and the and the ruby is pink. You know what I'm saying? That's the color. So it's crimson purple. He made, and this is what I'm trying to detail. Um, explain what color I'm seeing, and he my said eyes, that's what it was, and he's just not lying. My eyes will literally change color. Yeah, they're exactly. hazel usually. Yeah. They can be totally sky blue. Well, kind of like a little I'm looking, Look at the light up there, so they can. Uh, they so can be totally green. sky blue, or they can go to a deep forest green. Forest green right now, and like a hazel and, and blue. when I'm angry, right. they will go white. Oh, well, that'd be pretty because every it's color gets kind of bright, you know. Yeah. That they, they bring out the true hazel when I because I mixed love and anger at the same time. But when I go green, expect to be laughing Flattered. or I'm pulling pranks or I am going to be a comedian that night. If they're blue, I'm being romantic, loving, and I'm in a really good mood usually. But if they go white, someone has made me mad. I can't wait to see that. And no, I don't want to be the one that completely dilate out to black from that. <laughs> Shit. And like, I have, yellow, I, dark I've blue, and white. Somebody about say eight. something to me. It made me so mad that I guess I blinked out. Too. That I have witnesses that said I re literally just went. Hmm. Looked at him with full on black, opened up eyes. Wait. And I wasn't used to see. Oh. They said I grabbed him by his throat, picked him up one-handed, 
Going Let's check out my size. Easy. His name's Jamie Clinton. Don't tell him his name. <laughs> well, let's get out. Well, it doesn't matter. It does. Well, he's a big old boy like me. My Basically, my exact opposite. Probably. He's straight. I'm gay. He knows I'm everything. He's an asshole. I'm a cool dude. I'm starting to turn purple and yellow and blue, too. Um, right here. See but and then they said, uh, looked at him, and grabbed him by his throat. Wow. Eugene, my boy, well, had been a been a ceiling fan until I heard it snap, and I dropped him at that moment. And when I looked down, that's when I was driving two branches on my way. Yes, I was going to cut a tree, a 200 foot pecan tree fell on another tree, and a lady wanted to save it. So we got climbed up there to see where I could cut it because I didn't have to mark it or nothing. I just forgot my chainsaw. So I go back down the tree. And on the way back down, like not even two steps to turn around and go down, mm -hmm. I literally slipped on the way down, grabbed at two branches, and I'm not a little, I'm 16, I was not very much smaller than what I am now. Mm -hmm. I'm taller than what I was. And you died, there. so what killed you? What was it? The hour of bread? No, I said I should have died. Oh, you should have died. So that's like. Uh, never did. Okay, so you didn't have a near death experience there. That was just a near death experience, no, like an accident. No, action, like I've got right. other stuff I can tell you that happened that I know I've done. And I know for a fact. Alright, what do you got? So I grabbed it two branches, literally scarred. I was in my car, and then I got in a coma, and then the I other time I got in my car, I literally was fine. I just kind of walked that back. I had scabs on the inside of my legs from through the blue jeans because I tried to grab branches on the way down. Oh, fun. As I oh, fell good. over 30, like 35 feet, mm -hmm. I ended up upside down completely like I'm standing here today. Like, picked me up, turned me upside down, and just slammed my fucking head straight to the ground. And when mm -hmm. I hit like that, my chin got put in my chest. Oh, no. And I'm upside down, you know, like, ugh, crushed. Wow. And I opened my eyes, and both of my knees are heading straight to my forehead. So I just, fuck, closed my eyes and got ready for the thump. Mm -hmm. You know, and here they, bam, I was like, fucking wobbled. You know, that's what actually knocked the breath out of me. I was crushed in a physical position by another 30 foot. Drop. Were you in the hospital or not? I immediately jumped up. <laughs> okay, you just bounced. No, 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 no. I wasn't good. I mean, I, it, it's messed my back up. I can't oh, go on hikes because too much walking hurts. Oh, no. I have to literally. I'll lift you up with a, uh, no, with no, a wheelchair. No, I'll get towards it. I'll push you no, all. No, no, no. I have to go. I, all I gotta do is fine. find like a rock sit on for like one second, mm -hmm. let my lower back relax, and I'm ready to go again for a while. Mm -hmm. You know? After that tornado worked through it in 96. Yeah. What's in here? Can't be caused right on that. Let me say. Continue with your testimony of your past life. On the floor. Okay, continue with your past life testimony. And your spiritual testimony of how many spirits you've seen, everything that you can, all on this camera. Uh, yeah. Fit it all in there. Whatever you think's up. You know what I mean? The are you, are we I, trying to I, be, are you trying I, to make space? It's the spirits I ignore. I have to because if I don't, they will not leave me alone. Oh, so once you do this, you're like, no, no they, they just constantly want somebody to talk to. I would love that. And it gets annoying when they won't shut up. Well, I never shut up, so I will. Well, I'm just saying that literally they don't. So I ignore them because I'm like, I can't hear them. So they go away. There are the few that know it. <laughs> there are the few that know I can hear him. They'll still walk up and be like, hey, And I'll hear it and I'll be like, you know, go on now. Go on. Yeah. That's it. How dare you? Why would you want to disregard it? Because I'm just living. Yeah, well, that's And I didn't different. acknowledge them, but they need to go on to their next. There is no. There is yes, there is. Around you, that's all there is. Isn't. But there's Isn't. light Isn't. to others. Like no, I've, I've seen more than you know. I won't tell people this because I. This is I've shit. seen places too, like just no, fill no. the flowers with them, and they said that's one of their places. No. Spirit told me that. I'm like, okay, they'll just. Still living somewhere and all because it was oh the the pres in the presence of Jesus, that's heaven. No, no, no. I've the places I don't know about like the building. Yeah. I've met the creator. Okay, cool. Listen to me. Doesn't he look like your eyes like pretty colored blue? Actually, stuff? his eyes can be whatever the hell he wants them to be. Well, what he can be anything, anything sure. he is. Anything I can believe that. But what he, I've seen, I haven't seen. 
let's life be life, and life is messy and, and, and imperfect, and it's reason it's imperfect. Everything's allowed. Listen, no, no, no. Let you me tell you why things thing. are not perfect. Exactly, because it's all allowed. No, because God said, for the sake of imperfection, right? I have to keep it imperfect. Right, that makes so much sense. Because it's perfect life. It's completely fucking boring, trust me. I know. Um, you have nothing but we're gonna, to do. Everybody's the same. But it's perfect. What makes us have purpose is to try to create our what's perfect as well. That can be perfect, perfect or something. Our capabilities to be completely and different and, and come together fun. as a whole community as one. Yes, everyone should meet. And it's that ability that cuts off every instead of angels. Uh -huh. And plus, our undetermined. No, I said angels. I think the angels. We were we were chosen over the angels. I know we we're supposed to be something. I'm telling you, they never be angels. Because we were like chosen. An angel comes to a mountain that can't get over around or nothing, and it's going its power it'll turn around all the way. Humans, uh, you don't do that. And we can do that because something well. we can't move, we figure out how to go over, under, around, or move yeah. the motherfucker really. Uh -huh. That's what God found favor in us. Favor our. Determination. Oh, well, unpredictable. It's no, to God. It's no, to God. We're unpredictable. No, right? we're not it's unpredictable. Like, we are unpredictable. It's all that. We will not stop. So, if, and if we're told that's unmovable, mm. we'll move it because we have faith that we can. Mm. You know, with a seed, the faith, with mm. the seed faith, you can move a mountain. Mm -hmm. The ones that truly have that faith, well, exactly. That's what it is. We come together and we move a mountain. What happens when we need to we together to We tear that to fucking mountain down and take the call and then we build that bitch back up. Yeah. Nowadays, that's what they do. And just communicate with whatever we can. When we talk about things, sometimes the spirit Everything has a spirit. This clothes has yeah, a spirit. Yeah, I know. So we connect to the board. This has a spirit. So all the this has a spirit? Mm -hmm. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. no, no, this is the Indian belief. I got in Cherokee Indian. I, okay. I'm listening. Chickasha, Crowfoot, wow. Cherokee. I can't remember the one that said I got my chest from. I am over nine different types of Indian. Oh, yeah. And uh, my cheekbones is it's where that comes from. My share chest size. I have to get two pictures of one set alone. To see my lungs. On one picture, I have to get two shots. For each lung. Yeah, big lungs. They awesome. Yeah. They're going to post it. I'm Alright, so anyways, in my other life. And hit it. Spiritual and my other life, I from a toy. was a twin. My mother was a twin in my life. I just know because we looked exactly like and I knew that so I'm pretty sure this life somehow she did the in vitro trip. So is that where she in, uh, absorbed me absorbed and then gave birth to me later. Uh, Cole absorbed you. The twin the twins can do that. It's uh, yeah. the, the one twin will absorb the other and give birth to it later as a child instead. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened to me and my mom. We were psychically linked. Y'all were died, I, oh. I felt it snap like a string. What? When she, when she passed away. Oh. On Mother's Day last year. I hope I could pick up on you though. She'll, she'll talk to me and tell me her words. Tell me something that you would know that I wouldn't know would be cool to do. Um, let's try to do that. No, you don't tell me that, but like, let's just try to like, I don't know, maybe I'll try to try that. If I pick up on anything, I'll hopefully I pick up on anything, that's what I'd be cool to look forward to. But I'll, I don't know. I don't know. Mom, I can't choose if you want to tell him, tell him my true nickname that you gave me that I hate, but I love because you gave it to me. Oh, really? That and I will so not say a word. I'll tell if it's true or not. No, if, if he does it, get it right. If he does get it right, I will be honest about it. Tell him. Yes, I'm, I'm, tell him. Get it wrong too. I'm, I'm talking to her real quick. Seriously, tell him. And I will tell the truth. If he says the exact words that you gave me, that name. What, Toddy or something? No. If she wouldn't talk to you, she will tell you. Yeah, I know. I'm just so don't just, don't, don't throw out this. It's, you know, it'll be something that you'll be like, really? Really? And it's, uh, I will tell you, it's from, uh, Mary Melody Cartoons. Don't tell me that. Piece. I don't know nothing about that, but I'll tell you. If it, if it, that would help me with, if she gives me clues, because I can't, not, not, maybe I can't hear She'll her. tell you exactly what it is. I'll I'll see she, um, she might come to She can't make dream. me hear her. I have to make myself hear her. No, no, she'll come. I, I, wanna, I have to make myself to hear her. I, she can't make me do nothing. I wish she could. I wish she could. Uh, but, like, if anything that happens, I don't know. My mom is 
Jesus. I told my dad to sing to me. Not uh, someone you Jesus do loves know. the little children, all the children of the world, but he wouldn't do it. He told me no. And then, then when it came to me, he did not sing that. I told him to just do that, and he didn't anyway. He didn't. Mm-hmm. But he told me other things, so it's okay. My mom is not a shy person, mm-hmm. so yeah, she will get your attention, and you will know it. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, when she passed away on Mother's Day in 2019, at 8.20 in the morning, I considered that a 4.20. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Wow. 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 And continuing. Drive. Arriving at destination. I did? On right. Really? Is that where my car estimate's gonna be? No, it's not. Wow. In the middle of nowhere. Hi, horsey. With two donkeys and a horsey. Hi, horsey. Come here. Horsey. Come here, son. Oh, horsey. to me? Hi, horsey. Look at mommy. Look at mommy. Look at her. And here comes a donkey. Hi, donkey. Hi, donkey. There's a donkey. He wants to come near me, too. Hi, donkey. Hi, donkey. Hi, donkeys. Hi. Hi. Let's do. Sorry. Um, okay, so you have, you know, Gemini, Moon, and Capricorn, like I said. And you have Mercury and Taurus, and that's how you communicate, that's how you, um, you know, and so you're like, stable and powerful voice, and you just go to math or something. Your Venus is in cancer, which means you, um, you welcome all your relationships in with sweets, and you make them feel like they're adopted, like they're, you're a fam- like you're the mothering, nourishing person, like, you do things that people, um, don't know how to appreciate, but like, you know, you like spoil them rotten, your 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 uh, relationship people. Like you spoil them like your sweetest in a relationship. That's where your sweetest at. But when your Mars is in Leo, this means that you this is how you're in love. This is how you get mad. So your sexual expression as well. So you might have multiple orgasms because of this, because it rules the regeneration it rules the actual sperm, it rules reproduction system, it rules the relationship with your kids. It also means that you might get mad and you also might stick up for your enemy. Even if you just stick up your enemy. And you just do petty shit when you're mad. And it, you don't like to get mad unless they ruin your pride and your ego. And then you're like, you fuck with me, you just disrespect me. And that's all they're about to say. Isn't that crazy? And then your Jupiter's also in Leo, so you're very lucky with this unearned intention. And you're lucky with this spotlight. You're lucky with getting the respect. You're lucky for people to come around you and walk on eggshells like that, right? Like I said, I was like, I think it's kind of hard. For me to get you to do this, you know what I mean? Because you might be like impatient with and being kind of mad or something, you know what I mean? And also, you're a Gemini, they're kind of impatient. But your moon is in Capricorn, so you're very, you, uh, on the inside, you're like, a, you're, you're ahead of your emotions, you're above your emotions, you're just, you're a, a goat with a fin, and your uh, hands are like, you know, what deers have with it, hooves, and so you're swimming with your emotions like that, you know what I mean? That's how they are. Isn't that crazy? 
Your sound is not fire, which means your dad was like, don't you be a weirdo, I'm gonna see you boot camp, I'm gonna erase this mother effort and I'm prejudiced, or he was just your friend, and uh, that's who he was, which one was it, was he like, prejudiced and telling you to, how to dress, you cannot be your weird self, you can't, you can't, do not talk to other weirdos, you, and then you have to learn to, uh, Treat everyone equally, and you also have knowledge. Like even astrology, it's ruled by astrology. Aquarius ruled by astrology. So if you did astrology, you'll have less, less to learn. Like people will hate you for it. Maybe you'll be an outcast for it. But who cares? You discovered something that no one else did, can do or, or want to do because you can do the weirder things than other people. And so see that you don't, and you don't. And this will make you be like less humiliated. Like, but this makes you have a crumbled ego. So you have to learn how to be like not be such an ego narcissist even if your mars is in leo it would make you kind of like a narcissist in a way how you're gonna get a distinction and be in the spotlight even though you're lucky with it but this will give you like knowledge and it'll take away like it might make you really smart like but you you have to do the awkward weird thing to change it i don't know it, it can you know what i mean like independently and if you're not financially independent it would be kind of harmful for you but you are anyway because your moon is a Capricorn so you just like you have to be your own mom and your dad kind of <laughs> right like you gotta grow up and it teaches a hard lesson to give you the gift of God's love and you treat everyone equally and friendly and that was what your if God would be more pleased with you then it does have restrictions on your friendship and kind of restrictions on how to be and you know different from everybody else but you don't have to be different but you know what I mean like just and, Mentally, you know, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And then, like, your Lilith is in Capricorn, so you're proud of your reputation, you're proud of your career, you're proud of your hard work, and everyone's mad about it. Because <laughs> you have to rebel to get a career. Like, you have to fight to get it, fight for your dad or something to get to a career that he won't let you have or something. Like, they're just trying to make you not have this hard work or, their, or, or a public image. It, will not, it tries to take it away from you, but you have to fight to get it and be proud of it and arrogant because no one else can help you do it. They're just trying to hate like, make you not do it. Because Lilith and, is the rebellious against um, Adam and said, screw you, Adam. Why don't you just cut out your uh, freaking rib cage and suck your own dick, stupid Adam, because you're, like, dominant and trying to tell me what to do, and I'm all yours, you know? And that was Lilith as Adam's first wife. And then Eve came along because of the, um, you know, because he's probably like, I'm schizo. <laughs> Dad took his own rib cage out. <laughs> and here she came, I guess. Oh well, your purpose here is to have that career and thing that you're uh, rebelling against, and to be a father, to be a uh, public image, have a career. Your purpose is what's just like what you like. We, every time you do that, you'll you'll be fulfilling your purpose. You already learned about being mothering and nursing. You came here to gain uh, to learn that you came here to gain the thing that you're trying to rebel to get or whatever. So you already know how to be your own mom and be emotional and be a family guy. You guys, your Venus is already in Cancer, so you really are spoiling to your partner. You can know how to be the mother in the relationship, like a really sweet person. Like, that's my favorite placement of all in Venus, is it? Honestly. So good. Like, you're like Snow White when it turns you into Snow White. The beauty in you, because Venus is beauty. It rules beauty. And your beautiful is in your beautiful emotions and your caring mother and nursing side, you know what I mean? And your home, too. Like, your home. You all have a beautiful home. Okay. So that's the glory of that's the story of love. And yeah, your Jupiter's in this. Yeah, and then, yeah, okay. You might be um, either Aries rising or Pisces rising, depending on what your time you're born. You might be one of those or might not. Okay then, birthday boy. He is a Leo and his sun sign is in the rising sign. Okay. Your rising sign is how you're going to look and how you are right away, like how you meet somebody. Like, I'm doing like, I guess rising sign, I talk a little, that's a little blah. But that's how you like, you're like, hi, nice to meet you. That's how you come off as, like a persona. Yours is Leo, and you also have your sun sign there, so everyone sees you right away, and your ego, and all this good stuff. And, um, this means that your, um, your second house is in Leo, too. Your third house is in Virgo, so you're probably a really, really good writer and stuff like that. And you can publish stories and stuff. And uh, you're you analytical how you talk and before you speak and stuff. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> this means yes. I can talk. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was a journalism major in high school. Oh wow! And also, you'll probably not want to be interrupted while you talk. You'll speak. I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> That's how third house Virgos would be. Anyways, I told you this Virgo in there. How you? Who does that? Yeah, you? yeah. I I interrupt because I have Gemini because I'm yeah, But yeah. you have the third house Virgo, so you don't want to be interrupted, and you don't interrupt other people. And that's what that communication is like when I try to tell you. You must have some Virgo in there, 
Yes. And where is that at? Where you communicate. Yeah. And, and when I say, I'm doing Aries, it's like, talk without thinking. Because it's in the Aries. Aries is the house of your first house, which yours is in Leo, your sun sign's in Leo there anyway. So you come off as a Leo, come off as a Leo right away anyway. Yeah? Okay. And then, um, your 10th house is in Aries. So just your public image. This is how you want to advertise yourself. And this is how everyone's going to know you. Which is your 10th house is in Aries, which is mean, look at my shit, I'm going to win, win, win. I'm first and I, I fast. And then, like, when you go home, your fourth house is in Libra, which is how your mother treated you. She's kind of treated you like an inept, beautiful object. And you have, um... How'd you know that? And she kind of was... How'd you know that? And then you're, and then you're yeah. And your dad was kind of like that, too. He treated you like an inanimate object, and he was kind of fake and hypocritical, maybe. How'd you know that? And very bonding. He was real fake. We didn't bond until he died. Oh, well, yeah. See how that is? We didn't bond until the last year of his life. And guess what? Mm. Yesterday was his birthday. Yeah. He's a Leo. Well, happy birthday to him. Yeah. Well, he, he was just fake and hypocritical. He was fake and hypocritical. The public and thought that he was so cool. Also, listen to this. Oh, sorry, sorry. I probably okay. thought he was so cool. Well, wait, let me tell you something. I knew he was, he was an asshole. Look, your Saturn's in the third house of... Mm -hmm. uh, communicating, which is yeah. where your third house is in Virgo. So yeah. the way you communicated with him was like he told you to shut up all the time, yes. and he tells you to lie, and yes. he was a liar to you yes. too. That's what this means. He did all that, and this means he also knows, them, and also your siblings are liars too. Yeah, they, have they dress like your fucking dad. Yeah, and and then and then it's like your, and your neighbors are like that too. They gossip, and this is where this comes from. The third house is neighbors. This is their third house's uh, communities. It's how you communicate. It's how you're writing your stories, the publishing stories. And it has to do with your hands. You have, you know what I mean? And it's like you're, you're strict on this kind of stuff with your hands, too. Like, it restricts you. Like, it can give you this publishing deal or it can take it away from you. And that's what your dad did to you, is give you a voice and take it away from you. Like, you, you can become a public speaker with this. It gives you the opportunity. But if, but if you are like this... But, but it wants to make you a good one. It makes you want, like, you know what I mean? But it's like, it's taking away, it's like bothering you to be this. Mm -hmm. And if nobody else has this problem, but you might have this communication. Oh, now you also have perfectionists because you have third house in Virgo. You have to let go of being a perfectionist because it's next to that sign. Because And it also gives you a strict diet and maybe allergies or something. So I'm right. Well, you gotta be like, because oh. yeah, you can't see us not right. Everything you said is right so far. That's why I haven't said shit. Oh. And, and this is not psychic, it's just astrology. So it's all different. Psychic is different. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that on no. And um but it can tell you a lot about who this kind of inc inclination of this kind of personality and the person is. And it's been so far correct. Your Lilith is in That's what I'm listening. If it wasn't correct, I'd be cutting you out. Hell yeah, okay. Because skept that's skeptics is how you're thinking. Virgo like skeptic. And it will challenge your challenge your your um, beliefs anyways, the Virgo part of you. It will challenge you to be the, the right Virgo. The best skeptic, good psychologist, even if psychologists like this, because if you give oh, no, no, whatever, but like, you know, and it also this means, Saturn and Libra means that you have an opportunity to get married and it'll take it away from you. Like, it wants, you know, it wants you to be in a good relationship. Saturn is your, it's ruled by uh, Capricorn and Aquarius, so Thorda figures. Saturn is your life lessons and discipline and karma is how it acts on you. Like, it's your own karma. It's not everybody else's karma. It's yours. So this means y'all, and your beauty too, will give you beauty and it can take it away from you. All kinds of stuff with Libra and balance. So give you balance, take away from you. Your Jupiter's in Scarpa, so you can be a psychic medium if you put effort into it. Your Mars, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Your Ma you want me to say the bad part or the good part first about uh, Venus or Mars? Which one do you want me to go for? Bad part. Okay, bad first. Then we'll make up for the good shit I feel like. Okay? Yeah. Okay, your Jupiter is your luck. And it's in Scorpio. Cult knowledge, mysteries, darkness and despair, and inheritance of money and stuff like that. Gover other people's money, like government and stuff. And, and um, you can be lucky with that if you aim at it or whatever. And, uh, okay, and power, whatever. And, uh, but your Mars is in Scorpio too. This is how you, you're how you get mad and this is your sexual expression this means that see scorpio rules sex death and restoration this means that you hold back on sex you can you you want dignity and uh you know you don't want a pussy god you don't want this imaginary god which is just like the your third house burger you want your skeptic you want the real thing and that's what it is like and you might even vote for what's evil though i'm not sure but like because it's power and it also makes you super jealous for, like, you have nothing to read jealous of, so don't worry about it. But it can, it can give you this when you get angry, like, really super jealous, controlling, massive, violent person when you're mad. 
Like, you know what I mean? Even if you're a Leo, y'all have that expression. With that Mars, it's super <laughs> evil, evil. Evil can evil kind of thing. Why, why would that be bad when it's true? Well, <laughs> why would it be bad if it's true? I know, right? Maybe it's useful or something. But you're, and your Mars is in the sign of 1V. Let's see, 1V. Your, your uh, fourth house. So see, when you're... you're and when you go to your comfort zone is where you're mad and your willpower is at home. At home, right? And that's kind of where you can be a hypocrite too because your fourth house is Libra. You have a beautiful, balanced house. And, it, and it'll be kind of like, you know, you know what I mean? Because your, your fourth house is Libra at home. Opposite from your public image, which is Aries, head on, in your face, um, repulsive and fast burst and want to win, win, win. And be a leader, your natural leader in the 10th house, public's eye, career, you're everybody's leader, you know, you're the first one to do things, you're faster than other people, you're, you're winning, you're, you're, you're competent, competitive, you know, right? Cool. That's the atmosphere outside. But on the inside, it's the polarity, it's a different place. It's a little different place. Bashful, you want all your relationships to go to your house, everyone you love, you want them to go to your home. And also, also, you do also have Venus in Cancer, which means... You mother nourish people, and you and you and you, and you sweet and spoil your partners, and and um you're a family guy, and you're really good at um, doing things that people might not notice or appreciate, but once it's gone, they're like, where the fuck did my you know lover go? Where the fuck did that beautiful mothering nursing thing that they did for me? You know, why is the toilet so dirty? Because you know it was cleaned by the Venus and cancer. something weird like that. You know something. That they wouldn't notice, they take for granted, and you just are very sweet, mother nourishing to the person. You're very loyal and um, emotional and, uh, and, and intimate, and um, like um, very inner self, the being, being that they can see of you. You know, cool stuff like that. I know, right here. Get it back to that part because it, it came off. I'm almost done. And then I'll show you why you're rebellious. Okay, well, listen to this. This is your eighth house. No, I said you don't have 12 o'clock. Oh, 12 o'clock, happy birthday yeah, to you. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, actually, actually not the two. Okay. I would love a cup of ice. Okay, your, your fifth house is in a Sagittarius. This is where you're having parties. It's like, happy go lucky. And um, in a party. This is your heart, too. But that's and, all Leo's. <laughs> not just individual or what I'm talking no, about. No, no. Everyone has. This is not everybody. This this is your chart. You live it. No one else does. It makes you an individual. It's not, you know, cookie cutter. Every, but some yeah. people have some places like this, like you too. But they're not every single degree is completely different from everyone else. The most okay. original. Every single bar chart is original. Okay. You can never be that ever twice because okay. history keeps going, you know? That crazy. So, um, okay. Fifth, six. Six houses in Calvary when you're serious. Every day you are hard hardworking. Every day. Because it's day-to-day routines and diet, your health, so you have all these conscious problems you're alert about every day. You know what I mean? And I'm worried about your reputation because it is Capricorn. That's what that rolls. You're, okay, this is seventh house. Your seventh house is Aquarius. The people that you, like, keep on freaking being surrounded by and everybody's attracted to you, you attract these kind of people. These weirdos, these know-it-all want to be, these egotism idiots, and these weirdos like me, like outcasts, they just, you're just attracting me, like, see them completely different from you, like, I'm nothing like that, I'm a Leo, and I'm also Sun and Leo, and it's in the first house Leo, because that's how you come off persona right away, but the people that you keep on track is like, oh my god, all these Aquarius people, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, then you're also your eighth house as an Aquarius, so you're kind of, and secretly you're kind of like an Aquarius, you're kind of like, you want to treat everyone equally and be like, st put this crown and share it with everybody or whatever, you know, secretly shadow stuff like. Uh, but your eighth house is your death house, that's how you're going to die, it's polarity of Leo. If you had eighth house in Leo, that means you might die of heart problems, but this is eighth house in Aquarius, you might even have Alzheimer's or something. Because <laughs> it'd be the Aquarius's worst nightmare because they know everything and once they gain all this knowledge, then it's like, oh, they forget about it now, it's depleting, it's dead. No, it's still in your energy, still in your soul. Do you have anybody with that in your um, family? Dementia? Like, you know, that would suck. Okay, yeah, yeah, not now. Okay. Well, so I don't I'm know. not going, I'm, you're saying be the Alzheimer's. You might I'm not. not. Red and slow. Wait, also you got, okay, you have Venus and Cancer, which I was getting to there. It's also in the 12th house. The 12th house is ruled by your spirit. This means you treat everyone like your soulmate. Like, you really love them, you know, you're a soulmate. That's what it is. And, um, um, your Neptune is in the fifth house. Oh, okay. Um, well, um, your Uranus is in the 
I the the home at home. So you're more unusual at home too, at the same time. And uh, you invent things when you're at home. You you know you're more mental and airy. Okay. Um. What is your Neptune? It's in Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, to find your spirit, you just like go travel and get more life. I don't know, something like the sort of sort of. Um. You're lucky with psychedelic. Okay, your Pluto's in Scorpio too. You might write some secret things, and secret neighbors, and secret sex. Is Pluto? Pluto's rules that, and secret isolation. When you go home, oh yeah, your Pluto's in Libra. When you isolate yourself, you don't want to be alone. You're always with a partner. Like you want to be alone with somebody. Like you're like, come over here. I want to be alone with myself. And you always have a partner to be alone with to isolate yourself. Does that make sense? Uh, is that true? <laughs> kind of. Hmm. Uh, okay, your Lilith is a Capricorn. That's the way you rebel. You had to rebel to be the, in this career. You had to be your own father. You had to be your own reputation. People don't want to see you be like this. And you come out like that anyway. So Capricorn is kind of beautiful. Like, it special. should be something in there. Why I didn't answer the question when you had to ask me twice. If I'm a Leo, he's just going to say, hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, your 12 houses of cancer. <laughs> so, you're, 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 listening, though. You're, you're, your spirit is connected everywhere. Give me five more minutes. Even if you don't talk that much during, during the spirit, the spirit, you're connected to everybody. But your 11,000 Gemini, your friendships, you talk a lot, you're, yeah. you use your hands and stuff. Okay. Uh, well, Leo doesn't like to hear how they are either. Your Mercury's also in the second house Taurus. So you'll, they can communicate like a Taurus as well and know about financial security mm -hmm. and stuff. Your second house has to do with your eye, your, the second house? your left eye. It's told by Taurus. It's um your, I mean, your food, your financial, your food, your food, your financial security, well, your possessions. Your second house? house, and you have to communicate to get that. What's your first, first house, house is your identity. The I am, and what your face looks like, kind of how, how you are when you Physical. when you when you kind of like meet somebody right away. Yeah. But also your eyeball is have to do with the uh, Taurus house, and your twelfth house has to do with the right side of your face, the emotional side that you hide. And the insecurities. And this is the side that you want to show to everybody is the left side. Mm -hmm. Is that true? And then you communicate more with it. Okay. <laughs> It'll mean you'll communicate more with it. I don't know. That's what I'm saying about astrology and I think it died. Anyways, toodles. <laughs> That's a good